Hello YouTube and as I stated before I'm actually gonna go through all of the new uh, play apps so you can see the Play Store play movies play games play newsstand play music and play books all have their new triangle insignia and I'm actually gonna review each of these apps excluding the Play Store because obviously there's no cosm um, there's only a cosmetic changes to it so there's no real um, you know feature functionality difference between that but starting it off as you can see it's gonna be the play movies and TV app uh, and upon booting this bad boy up you'll actually see that essentially uh, you'll be greeted with this nice one-time 75% off movie rental depending on what country you're in uh, certain countries will actually have uh, like a buy one get one free movie uh, it's all literally dependent on which country that you are currently in. Um, it actually recommends movies based on your personal preferences, which they find via the uh, movies that you clicked on and also, uh, you know, just like different factors of things that they predict that you like. You know how Google's algorithm works. So essentially, that's how they uh, are going to determine which movies uh, to actually advertise to you during this little list right here. If you click to the little side menu, you can notice that you'll actually be able to uh, go to my library, which shows all the current movies that you currently have. And you can see I got um, a couple movies, Blank, Gravity, Lord of the Rings, and Transformers, and uh, Polar Bears, no, <laughs> not to throw that one out. Also TV shows. Um, uh, one of the great things about movies and TV is that the TV factor of it. So if you're the type of dude like you like, let's say hypothetically Game of Thrones, as you can see right there, you can just exclusively get Game of Thrones instead of paying for either some, you know, outlandish fee to HBO to get it, such as like HBO Go, which is probably like 15 bucks just to get one show. Or you can do it this way, which you can get all the episodes of Game of Thrones for a lot cheaper. So it's actually kind of advantageous for somebody who, you know, has a personal preference for one show to get that versus to, you know, pay for all these things that they don't need, especially like over cable. You know what I mean? Where you're paying a lot of money where you only watch like two two channels. Like, come on, let's be real. Uh, the wish list is you can add any movie or show that you want to potentially purchase in the later times right there. Pretty straightforward. And the, the eShop, which um, essentially brings you to this little screen right here, where it'll actually give you all of the, th all of the movies that are, you know, currently trending, hot topic movies. They try to um, look at the Ghost in the Shell, nice, um, where they'll actually have that by the movies that you would want to see in order as well. You can, you can sort of buy TV, uh, top selling, new releases. And in each of those categories, you can also um, organize it a bit more. So it's kind of like a Netflix-esque type environment where you can, as you see, you can pretty much organize um, it by any category you want to. Or essentially, you could just use a little magnifying lens in the corner and search for whatever show you want to, you know, find. Pretty self-explanatory and easy. And then uh, download it only makes it so that it would only show the movies and shows that you've already downloaded. So if you're on the go, you're, you're in nature or something like that and you don't have a signal, you can use uh, these little uh, set uh, signals like that. And then in the settings, you can see you can actually change your audio language to whatever language the show is in or your uh, the one that your phone is in. You can add captions to it. The cool part about captions is you can actually customize if you want it to be like white on black or black on white. You can make the text really small. Um, like, especially if you're like into uh, say anime or something like that, it has text all the time, subtitles and things like that. It's really good to be able to customize how the the text animations and things like that will come up. Cause I mean, come, come on, most of the show is gonna be like that. A really big one is uh, up to controls. Whereas you can see, um, you type a pin in and essentially you can turn off which shows they're going to watch, which uh, captions is going to watch, kind of like old CRT TVs back in the day. And uh, having that option is really good for somebody who's like uh, a parent that gives, you know, their, their child their phone and they're like, hey, you know, go watch your shows or whatever. And you don't want them watching the wrong type of, you know, content, of course. 
This one's really good. Enable info cards. It's essentially like uh, Google Now and tap like that, um, where it'll show you info based on uh, the people that you're watching. Enable binge watching. Let's be real. That's pretty much a direct derivative of uh, Netflix. Um, and my shows, my watch list. We already, you know, went over that. <laughs> and one of the coolest things is like if you live in somewhere where it's like, uh, um, you know, restricted in terms of your data usage it'll actually start to tell you like hey you know you're using a lot of data you might want to switch to wi-fi and things like that so it's really cool and you can see my device is the huawei uh, 6p developer edition and yeah, yeah and th that's pretty much the good nice round overview of the play movies and tv app i would definitely advise it for somebody who is in between you know which which app should I get which you know am I really a Netflixer am I a Hulu or things like that I would definitely advise for some time to you know consider this as kind of like a side app it's not really it, it doesn't really have enough I would say content yet to be the main app but definitely if you're the type of person you just want to watch one show or a couple of movies definitely this is a, a perfect side companion app to to do that and that's how Google Down Tap looks so this is just a quick overview. I hope you guys have an excellent day. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and have an aqua day.